best out of Kinana, Quraysh. And from Quraysh chose the best out of Quraysh, which was Hashim. And from Hashim chose the best out of Hashim, which was me. Huh? Notice, فَهُوَ خِيَارٌ مِنْ خِيَارٌ مِنْ خِيَارٌ The best of the best of the best. And because Allah Jalla Jalaluhu willed for this line of Ibrahim alayhi salam, all the way to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, to be the line that holds, holds the Prophets, then that line was honored, and that line was protected, and that line was sacred in a sense. And that's why the ulama and the warikheen, they mentioned that the fathers of the Prophet والسلام, are muwahidun, they are all believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, on the millah of Ibrahim. Now, some say no. It's not that. Because they say, well, how can you explain? When you say if every prophet, his father has to be a believer, then how can you explain when uh, Ibrahim alayhi salam, when Allah says it, قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ لِأَبِيهِ آذَرَ تَتَّخِذُ أَصْنَامًا آلِهَا Do you, uh, when Ibrahim, the ayah, Surah Al-An'am, when Ibrahim tells his, his father, the Quran tells us, when Ibrahim told his father, do you take, it says, إِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ لِأَبِيهِ Ibrahim telling his father, why are you taking asnam or idols as God? The meaning. The Mufassirin or the Ulama have two opinions in this. Number one, that the uncle in the Arabic language and other languages is also considered the father in a sense. It's equal to the father. Your uncle, the brother of your father, is equal to your father. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he was asked about Abbas, he says, Ammur Rajuli Sinwu Abi. Which means the uncle of the father of the man is like his father. So therefore they used to call their uncles, if their father died, in that sense Ibrahim's father died, they would call their old elder uncle almost a father figure, in that sense. No, Adam Mufassin says no, actually he was his father, but then he gave birth, or Ibrahim was born and became prophet before, that, before Azar deviated. Anyway, either way, the Mufassin, or many of Ahl Sunnah specifically, they go to that, all the fathers of the prophets, actually most of the Muslims, of the prophets are believers. Now we come to Abdul Muttalib, we come to Hashem, and we come to Abdullah, the, the father of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and Amina, the mother of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, where many people nowadays, you see them eager to declare them kuffar and lock them up in Jahannam, huh? versus Allah says, وَمَا كُنَّا مُعَذِّبِينَ حَتَّى نَبْعَثَ رَسُولًا We will not punish until we send a messenger. So, where they sent a messenger? And look at that. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Yaseen wal Quran al-Hakim. Inna kalamina al-Mursaleen ala sirat mustaqim. Tanzil aziz al-Rahim bitun zira qawman. Ba unzira abauho. You were sent so you can warn people that their fathers, yani their elderly, have not been warned. Litunzira qawman ma unzira abauho. So then they were not warned. If they were not warned, then how can you punish them? Notice. Naam. Wama bismillah rahman rahim. Wama kunna muadzibin. Hatta nabatha rasula. We will not punish until we send a messenger. Since no messenger was sent to them, because, huh? Litun zira kama ma unzira abauhum. Fahum ghafilun. Then after that, laqad haqqa al qawlu ala aftarihim. After now you came with the message, now they are accountable with the message, and if they don't believe in the message, then they are accountable and they will be punished. And that's the justice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And therefore, of course, that coming now from the topic of the mother and the, and the father, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and his grandfathers, going now to the narrations we talked about, to see, to understand how the problem is. Of course, how the problem arise before the bi'ta of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and what was the geopolitical environment in Quraysh. Of course, we talked about last week about, about the differences between uh, the Bani Umayyah, or the sons of Umayyah, and the sons of Hashim. Again, remember I said it's, this is not a personal issue and many people have actually asked me questions to elaborate a little bit more. So I will try to do a little bit more elaboration to, to put the big picture in, 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 in the frame so we can see how things happen. Because there is a problem when, uh, for example, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he mentions the hadith is sahih, the hadith is authentic, that, أَوَّلُ مَنْ يُغَيِّرْ سُنَّةِ رَجُلٌ مِنْ بَنِي أُمَيَّةِ 
That, that hadith is authentic. The first one who changes my sunnah is a man from Bani Umayyah. And then Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says also in the hadith Sahih, Halaku ummati ala yaday ugailimat and sufahat min Quraysh, and the perishing of my ummah is basically on the hands of uh, you know, ignorant people of Quraysh, etc. All these things that tells us what was the role of the Umayyahs. The Umayyahs actually had a big role before Islam and after Islam. Why? Before Islam of being the most fierce opponents to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. After Islam, by also, uh, first of all, altering Islam, destroying or altering the Sunnah, and also, of course, being fierce enemies for the offspring of the Prophet وسلم, and slaughtering them one after the other. Why did that happen? Many things. Of course, that's not to be taken generally. First thing, we said, we mentioned many people from Bani Umayyad that were uh, pious people and good people. And also remember, also that, that, that does not confuse you. In the time of the rulership of Bani Umayyad, in the 90 years after the Prophet ﷺ, after the Khilafah Rashida, there were many uh, liberation of many countries and many lands because the Ummah in itself had many good. It doesn't matter of the rulers. Now the rulers of the Muslim Ummah, mostly dictators and tyrants. But that doesn't mean everyone in the Ummah is bad. No, Al Ummah contains lots of good people, lots of treasures, and people are actually willing to do good for Islam and are sincere. And that's the case all the time. Now, going back to Abd Munaf, and of course, as you know, had the son of Hawan, is Hashim, one Abd Shams, and we talk about how Abd Shams was expelled, expelled out of Mecca for 10 years to Asham. And of course, now when Fasirin came, they say, in Muadrikin, they say, and I said, when I said the, the Muadrikin and these things are not authentic, I don't, I mean not authentic in the sense of they're not the Quran. These are historic narrations. But there are unanimous, almost unanimous corroboration and collaboration among all the Muslim historians who talk about this era. Huh? So, but we don't, this is not the Quran, of course. The Quran is the one that Bata does not come to it from between its hands. Now. When Abd Shams went to Asham and stayed there 10 years, expelled, of course, that's the beginning of hatred. And when you say, well, what happened? Al Hasad is a problem. Jealousy, envy. When Abd Shams came back to Mecca, he brought with him his son Umayyah. At that time, historians also differ. Many, actually, many historians, again, I'm not going to entertain these narrations, but many historians say actually Umayyah was adopted. He was not even the son of Abd Shams. He adopted him in Asham and brought him with him. Anyway, when they came back to Mecca, the problem was now the envy that Hashem has already taken the leadership and, and Rifada was Shikaya, all this. What do we do? How can we now combat this? And that's when the jealousy starts. The problem with jealousy, with Hasad, sometimes it leads to great things. Sometimes people are jealous and that makes them, that leads them to crimes. Jaraim, and for example, Iblis. Iblis. He got jealous of Adam. خلقتني من نار وخلقته من طين. And, and I am better than him. أنا خير من. He that his that jealousy led him to kufr in Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Notice. لا more than that حتى on the human level so you don't say قابيل وهابيل. The sons of the Prophet Adam عليه السلام قابيل killed his own brother out of jealousy and 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 and, and, and envy. Went to kill him, slaughtered him. نعوذ بالله إخوة يوسف يوسف and his and his brother يوسف عليه السلام young boy what did he do all that his father liked him more they took him the brothers their father is نبي يوسف يعقوب و their grandfather is نبي و their grand grandfather is نبي look at this still look at that sometimes this 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 jealousy سبحان الله overtakes the human being as if شيطان almost is subjugating the